So I believe we're going. Yeah, now we now we're going. So I wanted to come back and show you the start of an oil stick painting. I've been waiting for a while to come up with a good idea. So this is one piece of a sketch that I'm going to start. So you'll watch this get laid out. This is one piece of it. And in the same day, in the same coffee shop, I also created, did this sketch as well. So the plan is to take this large piece of paper behind me and combine these two images to get this started. Now, when I say oil stick or paint stick, I use the brand Shiva paint sticks, which uh, this is the packaging, although this one is rather dirty. Sorry, let me get that lined up for you. But they are um, fully saturated oil paint in a drawing stick form. So here they are. So it's the artist paint stick. Sorry, get that right for you again. And again, Richson uh, Art makes these. They're fabulous. I've been using them almost exclusively. Now you may have noticed I have um, vinyl gloves on. I use those because um, I also work in the restaurant industry. So uh, nobody really wants a bartender with purple and pink hands. So I like to try to keep them as clean as possible. So what I'm doing now is just laying out the general rectangle and I do not work all the way to the edge of the paper. And I do that because I had a painting instructor once say, the first four lines of your painting or drawing are the edges of the paper. And me being me went, no, nobody else is making my first four lines. And so I, and then that allows me some uh, breaking of the picture plane, breaking of the space, allowing things to um, um, be a little more uh, like real world where, I mean, our real world is not, unless you're looking at a window, is not broken into clear rectilinear spaces. So that's the way I like to take it. So I'm just getting, this was that second drawing I showed you, the, the man sitting at the table. And so right now we're just working in those pieces of that element that I think I'll be able to use. And I'll make some changes. And that speaks to another point. I'm using the yellow paint stick first to lay this out because um, it's the color that's going to interfere with my other colors the least, you know, pollute the other colors the least. So it gives me the opportunity to make changes. So now I'm going to start with those three figures that were in the first sketch I showed you. They'll be behind this man. And this is that classic couple servers standing around at the slow point of the day chatting. Those of us who work in the industry, it's one of the dangers is when you're really slow, you can forget about your customers. And so it's ironic that one can get better service when it's super busy as opposed to uh, When it's slow, you'd think it'd be the other way around, but you know, human nature being what it is. All right, I really love the contraposto of this pose, and I want to make sure I get that in. So here's a point where I'll break the edge, and then her hip comes in, make sure we get that angle. And then here she is really kicking that hip out. And she'll come in front of this character. And she's really kicking this leg in and then this leg comes back out. And this is one of the things I work from the figure a lot, go to drawing groups, draw from the figure. You always want to continue to investigate. So the two points here being you know, I have this sketch to start this painting from because I carry a sketchbook around with me. And then 
that's my source material to create another image from. So we're just getting a little bit of the story told here. The third character. So clearly the woman who's got her hip kicked out here is the one telling the story that the other two are potentially intelligent. Who knows? <laughs> so those are the figures as I want them, I believe. This one has a little bit of trouble, so we get the earring here. She's got her hand up to her face. I'm not 100% confident of this positioning here. So again, this is one of the reasons I'm using this yellow initially. All right. So now we've got to figure out how we're going to do all the other background elements. This is a particular brasserie, very much patterned after um, the Parisian brasseries that I know and love and haven't been to in a while. Hope to get back overseas soon. Certain things in our lives are making that a little difficult. So, let's see here. So now I'm going to go back to the first, the second sketch, the gentleman at the table. There we go. Yeah, so, so one of the things with composition is I'm trying to create this opening space and everything's sort of funneling right down into this one point, which is where this curl happens out, out of the um, chair. So it will probably feature that movement. And then so what you get are all of these swirls that come back into this point. And I think that's going to be the driving element of the painting. So, if I were to film my entire creation of this piece with me talking to you while I do it, one, I'd probably get confused and lost. And two, it would be hours and hours and hours of video. And we all know nobody wants to watch that much. So... I'm going to stop the video here, and I'll come back in a day or two and show you where we've gone. So there it is. That's the laid out piece. How much of it can you actually see? Not as much as you need to. I thought that might be a problem. So there you can see the chair I was talking about. Here are the other two figures. And again, so those two figures are based out of or three figures rather, are based out of this sketch. And then the figure here in the foreground, the gentleman sitting at the table right there, is based out of this sketch right here. And you can see I've already made some changes with that and we'll manipulate things. So that's the start of a piece. Hope you enjoyed seeing how it gets laid out and that you come back and check it out later.